Greetings. Tonight I want to look at MGS03 upgrade kit for Classics Hound and Ravage. And for the fun of it, I also brought along BTS's Savage because I don't hate it like everybody else does. Um, but what I do not like, I have not played with these figures for a long time. Hound is floppy hell. I mean, sheesh, his hips are worthless. Um, so, despite all those great big huge boots that should give him lots and lots of balance, his hips kind of mess that up a little bit. So, that's going to cause problems. And, same with Ravage. The, the elbow, I don't know what this is called on a feline type character. Um, <clears throat> but on both the left side, that joint's a little loose, so that's going to cause problems for this tonight, too. The right side is fine. So what is in this neat little MGS box? This is by uh, some company that I don't know. Hooray for research and planning ahead of time. But there's a black and white and probably kind of hard to see picture of what this kit does. It's for Hound and Ravage. And the pictures are all for Hound. So, yay. It comes with a card because I guess people like cards doesn't do much for me but there is a picture of what's on it in it and I can't zoom in because then you're not in the light hey I know let's look at the actual kit then we'll know what's in it so I can fix my tripod now that you're all motion sick here is the kit <clears throat> it comes with two guns for Hound and a thing and a couple other things gas cans and rocket things uh, let's see how these go because this is why I bought them because who gives a damn about Hound? I don't two little rocket pod things for Ravage um, I guess I would put them on this way There, and now Hound has missile launching dealies. Let's move them out of the way a little bit. Um, they look nice. They are plastic. They have a nice little silver sheen to them. Hooray. Uh, let's see what they look like on the BTS Savage Minion. Even though nobody likes him but me. He does have, I believe they're the same size peg holes. Oh, well... I forgot to mention, I have not played with this kit yet. I have not even opened it until just now. This is all learning together. Does not fit. Not compatible. Boo-hoo. That is too bad because despite this guy being really weird looking, I like him and I wish he had some missile things. But he doesn't, so we'll just get him out of frame. Um, let's see, for the fun of it, if that fits. Ooh, where is Grindrod? I got Grindrod by Toy World in the mail today, finally. I've been waiting for a little bit on the post office, kind of make me mad. He's got a little hole there, and on the other side, that look like they're supposed to be gas cans, but rather gas caps. But that means you can do symmetrical mounted weapons, which always makes me happy. Okay, I need another one of these kits so that both Ravage and Grindrod can use these. Or I suppose I could buy... Uh, somebody on Shapeways has a set of these meant for Ravage. So maybe I'll buy those for Ravage. Okay, I like these now. They're awesome. The other bits are gas cans, and I do not remember now if they're supposed to have a place in alt mode, or rather in robot mode, but assuming that they're the same size pegs, I don't know, maybe you can mount them right there, because that helps, I guess. Did you even see that at all, because I didn't have it in frame? Look, there's that little hole on the side. Look, they fit. 
Is that the same size? No, it most certainly is not the same size hole. So Ravage can't carry gas tanks around. Gas cans. Too bad. Um, my wrapper labels are getting bent. I believe that you can mount this thing in the back. There's not really instructions. But I see that they have attached the... If you look at this picture, it's kind of hard to tell, but those are the Ravage rocket things. Um, there's no way to attach them up there without this. So you could do something like... Aha, like that. And now Hound can use Ravage's rocket. That's cool. Or you can use one of these guns that he's got. Now, silly me, I would have assumed that these are the same identical mold. Let's see if I can get them in the light. See that? Not the same. Um, five millimeter width peg hole, though, so he can hold them in this hand. Or the other hand. They are really tight. That is a very snug fit. It's a really nice sculpt, though. I do like it. Um, this one's different, bigger. Let's get this one. This one came with the G3 trailer by Fans Project, which I would almost buy just for the little weapons that it comes with, because it comes with the most awesome chromed sword. It's meant for Grimlock, but I don't have Grimlock, so I give it to whichever Transformer I like at the moment, because swords are awesome. And now he's got two more different blasters than he had before. Steal this rocket back from Grand Rod. Okay, honestly, that's pretty cool. And I'm tempted, honestly, to buy another one so that Hound can use those and Grand Rod can use them. And I guess I would need three so that Ravage can use one too. Um, you may notice that this is silver and this is more of a bronzish, gunmetalish gray. It's a different color. So, two paint apps, I guess. Let's see, what else can he do with this? Presumably, you could pop these out and mount these here. That kind of wiggles around a little bit. Might be easier to pull it out and then put it back in with the gun attached. So he can have different shoulder guns. You may also note this little notch. And that that's pretty much the same shape. You can go click. Now he's got a more bigger gun. Except with this floppy waist, this hound is not cool enough to have a big gun. He just can't handle that. But we can put it on his shoulder still, just so you can see what it looks like. Um, isn't that great? I do kind of like that. I just don't know that I like this figure. Jeez, has it always been this bad? I thought this was supposed to be a good figure. Maybe there's a reason why I haven't played with it in years. Um, so there you have it. The Oh wait, let's do alt mode. This shouldn't take too long because this is a simple guy to transform, right? Let's see if I can remember how to do it on camera and embarrass myself when I don't. This is stupid. I should probably just not make a fool of myself on camera. see. Okay, I'll be back later. That wasn't too bad and it didn't take that long. I probably could have done it on camera, but I didn't. Really quick, here's Hound with the Repro labels. It makes him look more better, especially if you can see into the um, under the dashboard. There's stickers there now. That looks cool. Um, so Hound's actually not a bad little Jeep mode. But look, there's a conveniently placed hole there. These are not the same. Look at that. They are mirror images of each other. Let's put this one here. That way... Oh, look, the peg's even off-center. So it doesn't obstruct the door. Isn't that intelligent? Pop up these clips. And then this can attach to it. 
I don't know if it matters which way. Because you can have it that way or the other. Behind. It does not snap in there very snugly. But that could just be because the hook's close. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so again, you can have big giant gun. Or, hey, the fence project one will even fit in there too. Two big giant guns. Although this one also fits in there decently. Um, where's his real drill? I had it moments ago. There it is. This one would also plug in here. Um, so you can have this one point backwards. Again, you can separate them. Have two of them. Two forward, two back. So now Hound can be all kitted out with guns. And hey, suppose you don't want these ones, but you want these ones that he stole from Ravage. Well, you can do that too. We already saw these fit here. So, not much of a surprise. Those fit. I'm finding that this might be a fun little set. If I tighten up Hound's hips so that he's not a floppy mess, I might have fun playing with this. But I'm so totally giving these to Grand Rod. Oh, hey, I could do that with these too. That's a little bit more snug. But honestly, I like this sort of... I don't know what color that is. There are like seven colors that I know. I can't even see the rest of them. Burnished, bronzish, copperish. I don't know. I kind of like that. The rockets look better, though. Um, anyway, so there you have it. MGS3 by somebody or other. Maybe their name is just MGS. I don't even know. I know that they are reissuing this set <coughs> to go along with the uh, Shattered Glass Hound and Glit from BotCon a year or two ago. Um, the colors are slightly different. I don't remember off the top of my head what colors they are. But hey, if that interests you, uh, go get it. I got these on eBay for... Uh, like 30 bucks and because I'm a sucker for guns and guns I guess I'd say it's worth it they also have a <coughs> at least I think that they are reissuing or have copied and ripped off and are issuing on their own the cliff jumper upgrade kit that Fans Project did before they were called Fans Project. And it's 55 bucks for a Bumblebee kit and a Cliff Jumper set. All in one go. And if I hadn't spent a lot of money that I didn't need to in buying two of these because I was in a hurry to get one, um, I would have bought it by now. I think they're sold out on uh, BBTS. But they're available someplace. I don't remember where I saw them. But I'll buy it one of these days. Why does that leg not... Oh. Wow. Got to tighten up these leg joints. That sucks. So there you go. Uh, Decent-ish. I approve. Thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I am so totally, truly and honestly going to use those rockets for Grind Rod. Because this is the greatest transformer that has been made at least by a third party that I have so far yes I like this more than any of the individual Hercules bots I think but that's another review but seriously go get this it's awesome grind rod